you guys want your Shadowcast gameplay to start looking like this. Alright, so starting off, wearing the all black opium outfit does not help anymore. You go to settings, you can disable the enemy's vanity. This doesn't help at all with um your like being able to obfuscate your animations. So just go shade wisp. And these are the monsters you want to use. Of course, the most basic monsters are the best monsters for using Shadow Cast. You don't need any more. See Eclipse Kick. You can go Eclipse Kick if you want, but it's really easy to parry once you get used to it. And doesn't help as a mix up even with the wayward tech. So first off, running attacks, get out your get it out your system. Don't do them anymore on heavy. No more running attacks ever. Don't do them. What you want to do is uppercuts, spam uppercuts to parry trade. Like, see, I'm just normal man. Normally, uppercut. Just have your like finger on control at all times, so you can always spam uppercut. Also, running M ones, not a running attack. Why you M one? You double tap W. And make sure you boost forward. And with the new update that increases your um, hitbox when you're holding W, it helps out a lot with like <clears throat> being able to outrange people. So S hold through this all the time. It's a really good tech that I like to use. Also, when you're using your monsters, like unshift lock, or not unshift lock, but I do like this right here. So like, say you parry someone, right? You parry them, M1 the air, and then you do this. This bakes out their parry and allows you to get off a free rising shadow into whatever you want to do. Like this right here, if my wayward gem wasn't on CD, I would have landed the eclipse kick second part and I would have sent it off of that. That's a great mix up to do along with this right here and the rain. And one in the air and then one in them. And he gives him shadow meters in the duration of that. Painting shadow assault hides the animation because it will still be in the, like the starting animation. That helps out a lot with like doing mix ups. Also on parry trades, Shadow Assault is like really unpredictable and you can just get a free hit off for just using it in the parry trade. Um, Shadow Gun, it's just Shadow Gun in my opinion, you really can't say too much with it. If you want to use Blast Spark, only use it in ganks, it's not good in like regular play in my opinion. You know, it barely has AP frames, it's really eh. Shadow War is the same thing, you use it. Unshift lock with the other way. They'll be trying to spam F and they're getting free block and you'll be able to like profit off of that. And um shadow eruption, as per usual, roll cast it. In the roll cast, you use the marker and you press Q during it. Oh wait. So, oh. oh my game wanna freeze, bro. Like holy bruh. Um, anyways, it unfroze, so um, what you can do is you use the mantra and you roll as soon as you use the mantra. Easiest way for me to do this is just slide your finger down from the key and then you do Q. And it'll work every single time with every mantra. Don't do it with Rise of Shadow though, I don't recommend it. It is really easy to punish, you can just M1 through it. But with a new Rise of Shadow, I say it could be better, but that's the recommended one. And your best friend, your best oath as a Shadowcaster is Vision Shaper. I know. I know Vision Shaper got nerfed, but Illusionary Counter, people will still just hit it. They'll just keep hitting it, and you'll get free clones off. They'll try and run away. Shadow War, Shadow Gun, Rising Shadow, any of your mantras. Illusory Realm, this is great with the Magnus Spark. Because boom, you pop it. What, what can they see? They, they can barely see your animations in the first place. you doing this like. <laughs> plus Shade Wiz, plus Sightless Steel. What, what are they going to see? I'm going to put a clip on screen of this. But like, come on. It's a no-brainer to go. As for usual, Michelle, guys. Don't use servants. It's, it's really not that good. 
Legendary Service is not that good. It sucks. You can really probably. But the counter has a short CD, barely takes any ether, and it has a lot. It's like the best counter in the game. Like, it has the longest frames out of any counter in the game. So that's what I recommend you do. do. Also, for like. Get this muscle memory down. Once you land the uppercut, immediately do like shadow eruption and roll backwards down. You'll roll down out of the uppercut, and then they'll be like, you. If they do parry the move you use, you won't affect the parry. Like you won't be hit by the parry stun. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll put a clip on the screen of that, obviously. And that's really all I gotta tell you. Stay out the air. Don't do aerials. I mean, if you're like a combo build, of course, you're gonna, you can do arrows if you want, but for the most part, don't do aerials. Stay planted for all times. Always abuse a running attack like this. Not a, like fucking this bullshit. No, don't do that. Do a running attack like this. It's really good. I do it all the time. If you watch my videos. And the beginning of the intro, you see me abuse running attack like that. Running attack, uppercut. See, uppercut, eclipse kick. Roll back down into a second eclipse kick. It's I. It's good for like players below like below top 250. But if they're like a decent player, they're gonna parry it after getting hit the first time. So don't do that anymore after that. But yeah, I'll go next into like build stats and what you need to be focusing on on a crypto build or shadowcast build in general. See if you're not using heavy, you know everything I just said for like the most part. Like no, I'm not doing aerials. It still applies. Uppercuts, no, no, you don't want to be spamming uppercuts on medium. Just M1 the air, like that. M1 the air, rising shadow. M1 the air, like that. And roll cast all your mantras. It helps it a lot. Just find out the combo potential that you have or you like to do with your mantras. Look at some of my videos or some other shadow cast videos and you can find out what you want to do from that. And yeah, on to the next step. First, we're going to go on like break all the shadow cast mantras if they're good or bad, the reasons why. Yeah, alright, let's get on with it. Um, Shadow Vortex, only good with Gravity Field. It is not good with Crit Blade Crit. It's not good with Crit Blade Crit. Our fleet is not good. It only works on bums. Shade Ringer, meh. Single hit, yeah, you can combo extend with it. Multi hit, garbage. Spring Spark, a good mix up, but it's still shit. It doesn't guard break. Only good with like single hit and like, I guess a few combo. It could probably combo extend, not really though. It's just ass. Anyways, next, Power God kind of ass. You can spam it. That's all you can think about it. Shit. Shadow Assault, pretty good, does hella damage, does hella posture, hella range when you modify it, and yeah, Rising Shadow, best shadow cast monster in the game, no contest, and Circle, and Circle is actually balanced, it's a good monster for chasing, it's alright for combos, I guess, but it's really meant for chasing, it's a chase monster, you can move stack it with Eclipse Kick, because if they parry the thing, it's still gonna come out, Circle still gonna come out, Eclipse Kick, Balance is not overpowered, it's not broken, even with the tech, you can still parry it, it's still pretty good. Base version, meh. Even if you did days combo, but you can roll days now, so it's meh. It's meh. I mean, it's balanced though, it does hella damage, so obviously you don't want to be able to confirm it every single song. Shadow Seekers, shit, is worse than Vortex. Shadow Warp, um, pretty good. You can do the turnaround cheese and fuck up their parry frames with it. Clutching Shadow is actually just bad it you cannot like do anything after it after letting it it's only good for like the first hit i don't know why it's doing that anyway shade devour shit removed from game you're not you're not used to that sort of pve <laughs> shadow vortex i mean no, shadow. Re reinforce this is really good with the talent lord's tithe shadow gun you see shadow guns guard break for shadow cast outside of clips kick but you're not guard the clips kick Shadow Gun, Blast Spark, it has no AP frames for the most part, so if you if they parry it, they can still get hit, and it's really good for ganks. That's the only time you use Blast Spark Shadow Gun. Base Shadow Gun, Guard Breaks, it gives you full tempo, that's why you want to use it. Next, Shadow Chains, meh, you can still stack Shadow Chains, but um, it's still, it's, eh, it's easy to parry now since the um, portal show as you use it. Dark Blade, worse than Clutching Shadow, don't use this move, not really that good. Shadow Eruption, is all the way above right here pretty pretty good actually it's, it's godly it's like one of the best shadow cast moves it's like a no-brainer when you want shadow cast same with um shade Wiz. it's just like you're, you need to get this mantra if you want shadow cast for the most part shadow meteors is a it's imbalanced see it would be higher but the tracking on it is 
but it's a really it does really good posture really good damage it's on par eclipse kick can be hit all three and you can move second ones and criticals with it which is really good shadow hero blade eh. i mean it's a hero blade it's, i say it's like right here it's not it's not the best anymore since the nerfs but yeah Crit blade i put it right here right here pretty good i'm not gonna lie Crit blade is really good but as a heavy weapon, if you're playing like light weapon users or anyone with above 0.75 swing speed, you're gonna lose every single parry trade, and you're not gonna be. Able to, and your heavy uppercut is only good against uh, worse -er players. Heavy uppercut can you be readable? But yeah, that's all I gotta say about these monsters. Bye bye.